welcome back to the Cool Fears channel. I'm your host, Jesse the Bat Magic Girl, aka the Buff Collector, the information on the channel stand for adult collectors and not children. And today we are gonna be taking a look at the SL Custom SL005 Norman Osborne. If you do enjoy this video, please remember to give it a like, share, comment, and subscribe. Shout out to the channel sponsor, Entertainment Earth. Check out my Entertainment Earth affiliate link down in the description below to check out some cool figures, get some free shipping, and help support the channel. Jumping on into this review, guys. Yes, today we are going to be taking a look at the SL Customs SL005 Norman Osborn. So this is a third-party company making this figure, so please be aware of that. However, recently, third-party companies have been making some amazing figures. Now, this figure was released back in 2022, and I did get it back then. However, I am barely getting around to reviewing it, but here it is. And yeah, guys, honestly, when I first got into 1.6 collecting, I never thought in a million years um, that I would actually buy a guy in a suit. Uh, barring John Wick, I really wasn't thinking about John Wick at the time, but now that I think about it, that would be another character in a suit that I would be willing to buy, but for obvious reasons. Um, but this guy being literally just Norman Osborn in a suit, like, that's literally all this is. Um, but yeah, guys, this guy just looks absolutely phenomenal. The head sculpt is literally Willem Dafoe on my display case, and so yeah, I had to pick this guy up. And on top of that, he really doesn't cost that much because of, well, he's just a guy in a suit and he doesn't come with really too many other accessories. But for me, the selling point for this guy is the head sculpt. So that's why I got him. And he looks amazing in my Sam Raimi display. So with that being said, guys, why don't we go ahead and take a look at the few things that he does come with before we go ahead and pull him off the rotating turntable so we can take a closer look at the amazing great detailing on him and his articulation but i will say the tailoring on the suit is absolutely phenomenal it literally looks like a man shrunken down to one six scale and you know the head sculpt and the hands are just done absolutely phenomenally uh, as you can see the body's peeking through under that raised arm and it isn't as detailed as obviously the hands and the head sculpt but uh, it just depends on how you pose and technically the way I have them posed in my display uh, you can't see the underbody so it's not really an issue it's just with this pose right here that you do see it so uh, we'll get to all that in a bit but with that being said let's go ahead and take a look at all the great stuff that he does come with so he doesn't come with any alternate heads um, it would have been really cool to get one of him like really like screaming and stuff I think that would have kind of helped beef up this offering but it is what it is we just get this one right here of him thinking or it would have been really cool to get two extra head sculpts one of him like really screaming and being mad um and then one of him just smiling i feel like that would have been a great head accessory or alternate head accessory uh to add to this offering but that would have definitely driven up the price so uh for a man in a suit the price for this was pretty reasonable so uh we do get four sets of hands with this guy in total we do get those um kind of like pondering thinking hands that you do see he has one hand in his pocket i'm pretty sure it's the same hand um that no actually i think it's another type of hand we'll go ahead and take a closer look at what kind of hand that is when we do take a closer look at the figure but he does come with that right-handed uh pondering hand where he's kind of like grabbing his chin he does come with this right-handed open secret pan kind of just like a relaxed open secret pan uh kind of just hanging by his side but as you can see the detailing in the hand is very well nicely done you can see some texturing some pores and everything they really paid attention to the detailing in this hand it's not just a basic one six scale hand and for his left hand we do get an alternate kind of more relaxed hand as well uh, but there's kind of a slight difference to how relaxed it is in my opinion like this one has these two fingers hanging out slightly more than these ones it could just be that you know these molded and bend it more than these ones but i don't know it's you get those hands next up we do get a few goblin accessories nothing too much but we do get two little tiny pumpkin bombs um they are very well nicely done in detail they have some nice texturing to them but um yeah they're very small i feel like they should be slightly larger um and they do fit in these hands right here as you can see so you can hold it so even though it's like kind of like a relaxed secret pan it's kind of like a relaxed secret holding hand where you can still kind of hold it and make it look like he's holding it kind of examining it and stuff like that uh so the last accessory that he does come with is 
uh, this goblin mask right here. Super cool, super awesome. Uh, I just wish they would have gone with a more glossy paint on that and put the screen on the mouth of the mask, but I guess you can still just hold it up to his face and have him look. So that would be a really cool pose to put him into, but uh, yeah, very well nicely done in detail. They get all the nice sharp lines and edges on this and the gold eyes and yeah, just the gold teeth and very well nicely done in terms of like the paint applications. So that is it when it comes to this guy. No base whatsoever. You don't get a base with this guy. That's literally all you get. But like I said, for a really good price, can't quite remember how much I got him for, but it was under $160. Uh, but it was also during a holiday sale that I got him with a few other figures, so I can't quite remember how much he cost in total. Um, but he wasn't that expensive, so uh, it makes sense that he doesn't come with too many accessories. So with that being said, why don't we go ahead and pull him off the rotating turntable so we can take a nice closer look at that head sculpt, take a look at the details, and of course, take a look at his articulation all right guys so here we have him up close to the camera so we can take a nice closer look at all the amazing great detail in his head sculpt and the suit itself as you can see just an absolute phenomenal likeness to willem dafoe which is one of my favorite actors and i don't have too many of them there's him there's tom cruise uh there's Jim Carrey and even Keanu Reeves even though it's mainly John Wick that I like him in but still Keanu Reeves is fucking badass just like Tom Cruise jumping out of fucking planes at almost 60 but we're here talking about Willem Dafoe not Tom Cruise and Keanu Reeves but this guy was in John Wick chapter one I may have to pick up another one of this guy uh, if I do happen to find a John Wick for a decent price and put a sniper in his hand so that he can be Marcus uh, but anyways until that day comes he is Norman Osborn for my display in my Sam Raimi display and he looks absolutely phenomenal just a great representation and likeness to Willem Dafoe um, so yeah, as you can see, just some amazing detailing in the face, in the skull. Let's go ahead and pull them a lot closer. I love how the eyes have that nice, clean shine to them. The hair, the hair is just absolutely phenomenal. The paint applications on this guy. I mean, look at that, like just absolutely phenomenal. All the detailing and everything just great all around. The suit is very well nicely tailored. And I just noticed the neck too. The neck has some nice... Uh, detailing so but that does mean it is on a single neck peg right there which does hinder articulation but he's a guy in a suit what what do you need him to do uh, pulling his other hand out oh so this one is kind of similar to this hand right here so uh, I guess both these hands are the same kind of open relaxed hands and both these hands are the pondering hand which I do keep in the pocket so the pockets are functional I believe this one is not this one's not functional but the pockets in the pants are functional you can actually fit my finger in there uh, so the suit is very well nicely tailored and done I absolutely love the fit on it um, you can't actually close it up it wouldn't actually reach but it still looks nicely done opened up like that the only gripe I have is with the tie this under portion of the tie likes to creep out like this and uh, you just have to fix it but it's like every time you move the figure and touch the figure it creeps out but as long as you don't touch it it stays put um, taking a look at this shirt underneath does have like those nice pressed in buns it is velcro on the back the tie does hide that nicely the belt is a pleather material uh, with a uh, I believe that's a plastic belt buckle yeah it's a plastic belt buckle uh, the pants are very well nicely done in detail pleated and you do get some nice black plain dress shoes down here that works anyways um, but yeah overall just some amazing great detailing on this guy that like I said is just a basic guy in a suit so he just looks absolutely phenomenal the head sculpt to uh likeness to willem dafoe is just absolutely amazing one of my favorite figures in my collection and one of the figures with the best likeness in my collection as well so with that being said guys why don't we go ahead and take a look at this guy's articulation he will look all the way to the right all the way to the left like i said he is on that full neck head joint peg thing so it is one whole piece so he will look down that far up that far which is basically just back at you his arms will go out just under a t pose they will go forward that far they will go back that far um butterfly joint rotation at the bicep double hinge elbows which allow him to really you know get in there so you can get that you know thinking pose rotation at the wrist hinging up and down whichever way that ball peg is facing and like i said uh when the underbody is exposed you can totally see the difference between you know uh the hands which have been you know painted and done up to look like actual skin and everything uh versus this underbody which clearly has not uh so just be careful with that but he does have a slight ab crunch forward 
back, uh, rotation at the waist. He does have his shirt tucked in, so be careful with that. Uh, he will only kick out that far because he is in slack, so he cannot join the cheerleading squad, unfortunately. Uh, he will kick forward that far. He won't kick back at all. He does, however, come with double hinge knees that allow him to kick back that far. Taking a look at his ankles, they will go down that far, which is actually quite significant, as you can see. He's upright right there. They will go up that far, and they do come with a really good, generous ball rocker joint right there. So, yeah, like I said, guys, guy in a suit. Who would have thought? With that being said, guys, that wraps it up for this guy's articulation. All right, guys, so that has been my review of the SL Customs SL005 Norman Osborne. Once again, this is a third party offering just so you are aware of. So yeah, guys, let me know down in the comments below. What did you think of this figure? And if you've made it this far, type down in the comments below. I'm a bit of a scientist myself. That way I know you made it this far and you're enjoying the content. Once again, shout out and thank you to channel sponsor Entertainment Earth. Check out my Entertainment Earth affiliate link down in the description below to check out some cool figures, get some free shipping, and help support the channel. With that being said, guys, let's go ahead and take a look at some really cool pics that I took of this guy. If you did enjoy this video, please remember to give it a like, share, comment, and subscribe. And as always, have a great fucking day.